Hello friends, I want us to simplify this sodic expression. Now, this is the square root of the square root of 9 minus the square root of 8. To find the square root of 9 is very easy because 9 is a perfect square. So I'll, the square root of 9 is 3. I'm going to write 3 here. So that's the square root of 3 minus. What about the square root of 8? Root 8, 8 is not a perfect square. But we can break it down to two numbers. One would be a very perfect square and the other is not. So that would be what? 4 times 2. Okay. 4 is a perfect square. Now what is the square root of 4? It is 2. So root 8 is the same thing as 2 root 2. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is this. We want to see how we can make this to form an algebraic identity. Let me show you what I mean. You know, if you have A minus b raised to the power 2 this can be expanded using algebraic identities you have a squared minus 2ab okay and then plus b squared now i'm trying to see how i can make this expression be of this form so that i can now transfer it to this form and it will not be easy to use this square to cancel the square root and that would just help us simplify the whole expression. So let's try to do something. 3 can be written as 2 plus 1. Okay, because if you can see now I have 2 in this. This 2 is the radicand here. And I'm trying to see how I can express 3 to have 2. So that would be 2 plus 1. Okay, now just follow me. Minus 2 root 2. Okay, now we are getting close to, to this, right? But we have a square here. Can I make 2, can I express 2 as a number that will have a square on it? Yes, because 2 is equal to root 2 raised to the power 2. Did you get that? Because if this square cancels the square root, it gives me back what? 2. So I'm going to express 2 as 2 root 2. So that's equal to 2, oh sorry, root 2 raised to the power 2. Then let me just bring in this one here. You see, it's almost becoming like this then, minus 2 root 2. Then plus 1. We still have our square root on it. We can make this neat. Okay, now, what if, see, there's this squared here for b. And the good thing here is that 1 is also 1 squared. All right? So I'm going to put a squared here. But something less, what is this? This is 2ab. We can already conclude that a here is root 2. Okay, if you are trying to compare this and this. A is root 2. Now what about B? B is what? 1. B is 1. But look at this. What I have in the middle term. This is 2 root 2. Do you know that? Let me just erase this. This 2 root 2 can be expressed as 2 dot 1 dot root 2. It's the same thing. 2 times 1 is same as 2. Now, if you watch now, this is 2ab. All right? 2ab. What is a here? Remember we said a is what? Root 2. And b is what? 1. So, if you check now, this is 2, which is the coefficient of this 2. What about a? a is 1. C1 here. And what about b? Sorry. a is root 2, rather. C is here. a is root 2. And b is 1. C is here. All right? So, I'll just... I, I, I can just rewrite this as... The square root of 2, all squared, minus 2 dot 1. This is dot, not, not a decimal point. It's times as well. So dot root 2 plus 1 squared with the square root on it like this. Now, if you compare this expression you have in this square root and this, you see that they are, they are the same. They are comparable. Okay? They compare. So this is this. This is this, and then this is this, okay? So, which means I want to now transfer it from this form to this. Let's change it. Now, this is going to be what? The first and the last. So, that's A minus B. Remember, we said A is root 2 and B is 1. So, that would be root 2, then minus 1, then squared. If you expand this, it gives you back this. Good. But we have a square root on it. Now, it's going to be easy to just simplify this. This square will cancel the square root. And that leaves us with what? Root 2 
minus one. So this here is your final answer. Let me take this off. If this video was helpful, kindly support my work by subscribing to this channel, like this video, and share this video to your friends and family. And I will see you in the next one. Please take care.